For example, look at the sine function. It already consists of two complex exponentials. So the sine function is equal to 1 divided by 2j e to the power of j omega n minus e to the power of minus j omega n. So we just have one exponential too many. If we look at it in the Fourier domain, we see that one exponential is at positive frequencies and the other is at negative frequencies. If we could remove one of the two exponentials, for instance at the negative frequencies, we would have reached our goal of obtaining a complex exponential for amplitude computations. So what we need is a filter which attenuates the negative frequencies and leaves the positive frequencies unchanged. So how do we obtain such a filter? First, we formulate our requirement in the frequency domain, the DTFT domain. So this is our requirement. It's going to be 1 for positive frequencies and 0 for negative frequencies. We could multiply our signal spectrum with this frequency domain formulation, which is often not practical, or in the time domain, convolve with the impulse response of the resulting filter obtained with the inverse DTFT. So if we inverse this uh, formulation in the frequency domain, we apply the inverse DTFT, then we obtain the impulse response. So this is what we can do here. For n is not zero, this becomes this here. With some more manip ma mathematical manipulations, we obtain this here. j divided by pi times n for n odd and zero for n even. For n equals to zero, this inverse DTFT integral becomes h of zero is one divided by two pi times pi equals to 1 divided by 2. Hence, the resulting impulse response of this one-sided filter becomes 1 divided by 2 times a delta n plus j divided by pi n for n odd or 0 for n even. This is now the resulting impulse response, the time domain of our filter, which passes all the positive frequencies and attenuates the negative frequencies.